Well, they can't all be winners. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows so bad they were canceled after one episode. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sun News and Ford Nation. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ranking the television programs that were either so poorly received or ignored altogether that they didn't get another chance on the air. Some of these programs might have already had other episodes produced and then made available after the fact, but all of them were canceled after their respective pilots hit the small screen, entering them into the annals of embarrassing television history. Number 10, The Hasselhoffs. I've been called a lot of names in my life. One that means the most to me now is Dad. We open our list with a bit of fudge, as this 2010 reality show actually aired back-to-back -back episodes during its premiere before getting the axe. The Hasselhoffs was an attempt by A&E to create a reality hit following former Knight Rider star David Hasselhoff and his family. I'm just a regular dad trying to raise two kids. I'm tearing my hair out just like everybody else. Only 718,000 viewers tuned in to watch the pilot, however, while the subsequent episode dropped the numbers down even further to just over 500,000. The series was canceled and David Hasselhoff never did anything again. We are kidding, obviously, as the Hoff continues to appear in just about any aspect of pop culture that will have him. Hey, this is who we are. We're pr I'm proud of these girls. They're fantastic children. Number 9, South of Sunset. Glenn Fry from the Eagles. I'm 18. When he was hot, I was an embryo. Glenn Fry was a part-time actor but a full-time musician and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a founding member of the Eagles. Take it easy. Take it but forget fame, shame is perhaps a better word to describe Fry's 1993 series South of Sunset, which only mustered up one episode before cancellation. To be fair, audiences on the West Coast didn't even get a chance to see much of the show, as its debut was largely preempted by news coverage of the Malibu wildfires. This didn't stop South of Sunset's fate, however, leaving the four other filmed episodes unseen until they were broadcast years later on VH1. Such a low light. How do I get into this crap anyway? Number 8. Lawless. Get away from me, or I'll shoot you. The NFL career of Brian Bosworth may have been something of a bust, but that didn't stop the former All-American from trying his hand at acting. The Boz scored something of a cult hit with the 1991 action flick Stone Cold, but still couldn't resonate with the mainstream. Lawless was an attempt at rectifying this and featured Bosworth as a special forces op who solves crimes and rides a Harley on South Beach. If this premise sounds flimsy and generic, that's because it is. And Lawless only got its pilot episode out the door before its demise. The Boz continues to act though, so don't feel too bad for him. Everybody on their feet for the warden. Number seven, Secret Talents of the Stars. So welcome everyone to Secret Talents of the Stars. Secret Talents of the Stars was an attempt to replicate the runaway success of the celebrity competition show Dancing with the Stars, but ended up a disaster. The show was set up in a similar fashion to its touchstone, with celebrities competing against each other in a talent show of sorts. Each week, viewers at home would have been able to vote forward their favorites, while three judges would add in their own commentary as to who should stay and who should go. Secret Talents of the Stars was the one to go, however, and didn't even get to air another episode before getting the axe. All right, America, we're just getting warmed up. Number six, Emily's Reasons Why Not. He works in this office, actually, and he is an expert in a little martial art I like to call Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Millions of dollars reportedly went into the promotion of Emily's Reasons Why Not, a hopeful hit that hinged upon its star, Heather Graham and that molded itself as ABC's take on HBO's popular Sex and the City franchise. Unfortunately, the pilot episode, which was chock-a-block with gay stereotypes and stale humor, bombed in the ratings department, and was canceled, you guessed it, after airing just one episode. That is very gay behavior. Emily's Reasons Why Not did live on afterwards, however, as all seven of the show's filmed episodes were eventually aired in other countries and released on DVD in 2012. Maybe you should go. Number five, you're in the picture. It's a very simple game, and as soon as I explain it to you, I know you'll catch on immediately. Our next entry proves that sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and make lemonade out of some damn lemons. You're in the picture was a disastrous attempt at a game show hosted by the Honeymooner star Jackie Gleason, which was axed after its first episode. 
Gleason owned up to it, though, and appeared in the following week's time slot with a half-hour apology, complete with live commercials. I'm telling you, friends, that I've seen bombs in my day. <laughs> this would make the H-bomb look like a two-inch salute. Strangely enough, the apology received better ratings, and Gleason was allowed to replace You're in the Picture with The Jackie Gleason Show, an interview program that filled out his contractual obligations for the network. The only way to go, I'll tell you that. Number four, The Will. Ever seen a movie where a bunch of sleazy relatives are competing and conspiring against one another to win a huge inheritance? Ever wanted to see that scenario in a reality show setting? No? Well, neither do we. That's probably why The Will was such a notorious bomb when it debuted in 2005. The show centered around a group of people vying to inherit a Kansas ranch from The Benefactor. The usual backstabbing and drama ensued, only this time marinated in the sort of bad taste one might expect from a premise this stupid. Thankfully, The Will qualified for our list, though some of its banked episodes later aired. I mean, isn't our self-respect worth more than any inheritance? Number three. Co-Ed Fever. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm fine. How are you? School's okay. There's not much new. This sitcom's concept was an all-girls college-going co-ed and was a bald-faced attempt at replicating the big screen success of National Lampoon's Animal House for a television audience. Thing is, it barely had a chance to get out of the starting gate. It feels so good to drop a book and have someone in pants pick it up and hand it back to me. With his phone number written all over the inside cover. It aired its sole episode, Pepperoni Passion, as a special preview on February 4th, 1979, but was then cancelled even before it could start airing on its scheduled night. Coed Fever was eventually put to good use, though, as its dorm set was eventually adapted for The Facts of Life. It's the facts of life. Number two, Turn On. Time to turn on. This one was ahead of its time. Turn On was a surreal sketch comedy show that made history by being the only series to be canceled partway into its pilot episode. Yeah, you heard right. The show was created by the folks behind Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, but was yanked due to its psychedelic approach, wild synthesizer music, and body sexual humor. She said it was wonderful, and she thanked me for the big one. Today, it's known as one of the biggest critical and commercial bombs in history, although its blink and you missed it existence serves as a tantalizing example of what could have been for fans of transgressive comedy. <laughs> it got canceled in New York, and when it got to Ohio, they shut it off after 15 minutes. Before we name our number one pick, here are some honorable, or is that dishonorable, mentions. I just heard this is a record audience for Channel 9, about 160 more than the room is supposed to hold. If it's a fire, you're all gonna die. She made the decision and I accepted it. So she wanted to keep me too, honestly? Yes. yes. We got insulted by some teenage drinkers. Those heartless, taunting louses. <laughs> they shouldn't even be drinking if they were underage, should they? Number one, Heil Honey, I'm Home. Thank you, Heil Honey, me. File this one under what the hell were they thinking? Well, the intention behind the British Heil Honey, I'm Home was to satirize what the creators saw as stupid and stock cliches of the typical American sitcom. The results, however, featured Adolf Hitler and Ava Braun as a Desi and Lucy sort of couple who live next door to a Jewish family, the Goldsteins. You wanted to get out that Adolf Hitler insults his neighbors? Now relax! Complaints were swift, with many accusing the show of trivializing Hitler and the Holocaust, despite the existence of other World War II parodies like Hogan's Heroes. The show was immediately canceled, although it has been reported that other filmed episodes do exist, somewhere out in the mist of bad taste. Look at my outfit! I'm just one of the boys! I'm a real fun guy! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.